Come on in, Terry Funk. So did, it, did anybody think Terry was going to be here today? You guys staying out of jail? <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing a lot about all of you guys. Man. Half of it's true. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, yeah, I've been half of it is at least. How's everything going? Good. 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 All right. Excited about your action figure? Uh, sir? Are you excited about your action figure? Darn sure am. Uh, uh -huh. Just thrilled to death about it. Really thrilled to death. Jack's did one for me, you know. Uh, I think it's gonna. I think it's a pretty good figure. I really do. I don't know what you guys think. I think it's gonna be. I hope it does well. Well, and, uh, they haven't seen. They haven't seen what we're giving them yet. Um, which I think. Uh, I think we should just bring one in here so that people can see it. Uh, throw in the middle of the room. <laughs> <I know. laughs> the question I have, Terry, for you is. How quickly, or how long did it take you to say yes after they asked you? Uh, about, about 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't drive a very hard or expensive bargain. <laughs> hey, you give the funker a buck and he'll take it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, every one of you who was on the, what does they have to have? They have a ticket or a name tag or what is it? A ticket. Okay. The golden ticket. Now, again, like I said, some of you will get the Stacy uh, right. figures well for the autographs. <laughs> Okay, so this, okay, wait, wait, wait. This is. Wow. Right. Again, hand painted, hand painted. Um, you know, we took our time. We made sure that we did this Can right. Can Terry hold it? Good shadows? Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. What am I doing? I'm, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Are you on the list? <laughs> yeah. So just to let you understand, I mean, the, level, way, the level of, uh, of uh, legend that Terry is, we conducted a survey um, that some of you may participate in Terry, online. Um, there were about 200 or so uh, classic superstars. Uh, Jonathan, help us out with this. Terry finished in the top eight of all time. All time. I think I kind of get the, you know, about a hundred years of wrestling, I guess. The family's been around for, you know. All right, and next, yeah. Jenna, why don't you come in here? I want to hand Stacy her figure as well. So everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Stacy, this is from Author Us. Now, Stacy, as you know, is a current superstar, and Stacy is going to be in more and more of our assortments moving forward. Um, and uh, so some some very lucky people in here will be able to get Stacy's autograph as well. Some of you will get both. Uh, on their figures. So I think that's going to be a, a very big deal. Is, the, is that the offer of the yeah, Walmart line? I think my hand. Yeah. 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 Is that the Walmart line? Yeah. 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 That's right. So you guys, you guys like the packaging. We have a new illustrator that we wanted to do something that was a little different than we usually do. So. Jeremy, you want to tell me what else is in the bag? I did. I, oh, oh, did I not say it? All right, Flywheel's already mentioned is one of the biggest things ever. We got a one of a hundred special edition VUM'd flywheels item for you and uh it's i know that the regular flywheels are so uh underproduced right now um that this would go for a huge premium if uh if you uh dirty rascals do go to ebay or something like that <laughs> i don't know i've never heard of you so why don't we do this now we've had the opportunity to ask stacy some questions before we open this up to be an absolute melee uh, why don't we ask uh, Terry some questions in a controlled setting? Um, what's that? Two, two people? Two what? I did. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. In the bag. All right. Oh, you want to see the DVZ in the bag? The bag! Oh, the bag. Okay, DVZ in the bag. Okay. This time, Terry, I'll hold this one up. So, yeah, look at all those flash bolts going off. Okay. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, always the bridesmaid. All right. Let's get, let's ask Terry some questions. Yes, sir. What was your favorite feud? Can you name one? Um, you know, I had so many feuds through the years and everything else. You know, was it Ric Flair? Had a great feud going with '93 with Ric Flair. You know, Abdullah in Japan. 
uh, Harley raised for years. The Briscoes with my brother and myself. You know, can kind of follow it all the way through. The Junkyard Dog with the WWE. A lot of years back now. But, but, a short time ago, but it's hard to say favorite feud, you know, they, they were all kind of, they, they, they were special and they run together in different parts of the country, you know, the Lawler, Lawler feud was great, great fun, you know, it really was, you know, and uh, enjoyed that very much, so it's an assortment of people, I can't just name just one, anybody else have a question? Who's your favorite current superstar now? Um, outside of Stacy, outside of Stacy, just <laughs> <laughs> block the whole speculation. Uh, Bob Orton Senior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys. <laughs> you know, I like uh, Ben Wangle. I really do. I think, it, and and uh, got a great deal of respect for Triple H. I know he carries a lot of heat, but uh, the guy's got a lot of talent too. And uh, that's that's true. Yeah, he's got great talent. Too. Well, that's his job to carry heat. Right? If I had that kind of money, you know, I'd probably have. To <laughs> what do you think of the the SmackDown versus Raw? You know, do you, do you think one's better than the other? And if so, the one that's weak, how, how would you make it better? I think it's a, I think it's a necessity. I think it's a necessity that must happen. Uh, in fact, I think they should have uh, even been a little bit more individualistic about it. And I don't think that they should even go inside with the two groups together because it creates something, something of a competitive atmosphere there. If you had uh, SmackDown and Raw and, and uh, you had total different entities. And let them run and let them go, kind of like the NFL and, uh, you know, like the, the, you know, the, the football, professional football with two leagues. And let them go and go on their own more than what they are and become more competitive. And they'll have something to bounce off of each other, and don't, you know, don't uh, uh, be worried about if this guy is doing the same angle as that one. Let them create on their own and become an individual uh, product. And I think it'd make a greater product for you guys. You guys would like it better that way. Do you like one more than the other? Uh, not well. They're all the same. It's the same, really, right now. And they need to divide them even more. Is what I'm saying. To really get. Uh, so we have competition in our business, and we become more creative. And by becoming more creative, you guys uh, uh, get better enjoyment out of it. The more creative we can be, okay. and, and po you know, creative positively is also important. You know, you can create and create shit, and uh, it always stinks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Any uh, talk of inducting you into the Hall of Fame yet? WWE Hall of Fame? Uh, not at all. And uh, it doesn't matter to me. And, uh, well, if they, if they decide to put me in, that's fine. If they don't, that's fine. And, and uh, that's just a matter of their opinion, which I have no control over. Well, let's take a quick vote. A hand vote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. That's who thinks he shouldn't be in. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Anybody, yes, sir. You know, you've been so influential in the sport. How does it make you feel with something like a Brock Lesnar who comes in, gets it all given to him after the years, people like you, Flair, the classics? You built this sport on your own blood and sweat. So curious on your view as to uh, his recent action. I, uh, I think that he probably, you know, he was very fortunate to come into business whenever he did, you know. Brock never came into it whenever uh, I started in the business, and I'm not lying to you guys or giving you any bullshit, is that uh, I'd go ahead and uh, drive 250 miles to Abilene, Texas, and make 25 bucks, and I'd drive 250 miles back and make that for one show, drive 500 miles, and I, I, I love doing it. And I thought it was great, and I... Um, Things are different whenever you start, whenever they started making the contracts in the wrestling business, the wrestling attitude among the wrestlers themselves changed. It, uh, it got the, you know, wrestling became the, uh, the I formula, uh, you know, and the me, what can you do for me? And, uh, uh, the big contracts came, whereas before it was, it was much more camaraderie and it was much more uh, the guys that were putting their shoulders to the mat for you were were highly, highly appreciated by the guys that were winning and going over 
and I think it's lost some of that. I don't think it. Lesnar really had the respect for his fellow guy in the WWE at that time, but that's not his fault. That's the way we have to be better teachers. I'm not a good teacher because I didn't teach up to people strong enough to have them teach. Up. And that's what it is, is, is we got to look at not just Vance and not just the other people, but the guys in the past. We should have, we should have gone on stronger about, you know, hey, you got to learn, you know, you got to learn respect and who, where we came from, you know. Uh, there's not many people that even realize where we did come from. <coughs> where did we come from? You know, how did we become, uh, gain our existence? in, in uh, entertainment, in the entertainment world today, you know, and it was a long road, and, and we've, we've made a full cycle, you know, and uh, Japan's made a full cycle and back into that cycle again, they were going all the way from being a shoe, all the way the same way our business has, it's a cycle, it's a circle, to going in and becoming total entertainment, and then finally it becomes a shoot again. It goes all the way around back there, and it continues that cycle. And, it, and the pendulum swings and it come back and forth in the process of it. But we are in a cycle, a cyclic business, and it, and it really is. We're, we're making a cycle now, and we'll, we'll change constantly and forever. And wrestling will always be here, though, and we're all glad that. Yes, sir. Just sort of like, you know, the, the, the exodus of the wrestling these days. I mean, I grew up with wrestling. Yes, and, sir. You know, obviously, you know, Rock's making a hell of a lot of money making movies. You know, yeah. It's wrestling, you know, you know it's, it's the, the exodus causing, you know, some of the problems. You know, a lot of these guys either retire or you know, they can use the gets pissed off at them and they go off and go to another wrestling league. Oh, is, 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 it, is that hurting our business is what you're saying? Yeah. Of course, it, it hurts whenever we lose people, but we have to be smart enough to continue to create new talent. And uh, that's where I, that's where I'm somewhat different because I mean our business today is very structured and it's very you know it's very funnily from a few organizations that uh, are training, whereas before we had the whole nation that was uh, uh, producing wrestlers, and uh, and wrestlers were extensions of their own personality. And that was a great way to have guys, and I think it, I wish there was a little bit more of extensions of the personalities instead of you are this personality. Sure. And, I, and I think it, I think we'll see that in the future. I think we're starting to see it now because of the successful guys. Successful guys, Rick Flair. Successful guys, Chris Benoit. Successful guys, are Kurt Angle. Mm -hmm. Successful guys, are, and they're pretty much extensions of their own characters. And, and, and Vince before could take characters here and there. It wasn't all his all create, creation. It was one that was created over here, an extension of a guy in Minneapolis, like Paul Hogan, who was that before he ever died. Mm -hmm. You understand? He was an extension of that character, of his own character. And uh, I think that uh, uh, we have to have extension of our own characters instead of making the characters. And I think we'll see more of that in the future. I'm going to jump in there a quick uh, comment there, and I'll let Justin jump in real quick. I just want to say that. Uh, you believe me? One of the things that us to do the classic superstars line um, was the same thing that, that that drives us to embrace the current superstars. Okay, and that is a real appreciation for the brand and a real appreciation for wrestling and a real appreciation for the superstars that make up wrestling. All right. So it's my hope that today we celebrate Terry <coughs> Funk as one of the legends of uh, wrestling, and, and by the way, he still takes a few bumps here and there, and recognize also that just like in baseball where you have a Mickey Mantle or you have you know somebody who at one time had just a tremendous level, Terry is that, you know what I mean? And I think that's where we need to be right now. We need to recognize that the Hank Aarons and the Mickey Mantles of the world are not just baseball, they're not just in football, they're not just in basketball, but they're also in this entertainment sport world. Okay. The other thing, and the other half of that, is to recognize some for someone like Stacy Keebler that today she is a superstar, and that tomorrow she's a legend. Okay. And so the the issue is that it doesn't go away, and that 20 years from now, people like Jack Specific uh, will still embrace Stacy. Okay. <laughs> and I don't mean that. <laughs> yeah, you know, Stacey. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I'll watch it. Sorry about that, Stacey. Well, hey, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. Actually, yes, sir. You talked a minute ago about uh, the learning process and how certain um, new talent might be brought in in a different way than the old ones. With that in mind, what are your thoughts on the Tough Enough project? That's a look. Uh, I think I think it's a good uh, project. I think that there was a, I think Vince and uh, um, possibly I think Tough Enough is, is, is a great gimmick, uh, not a gimmick, but it's a great idea, you know, and I think it works out great. Uh, I think that Vince made a huge mistake when he allowed the ultimate fighting to follow his show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a very huge mistake, and he should have he had the power not to, to deter that, to turn that away, and uh, he didn't do it. And I think that's going to come back and bite him in the ass. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do three so more talking. questions for Terry. Sorry <laughs> for jumping in. We're going to do three more questions for Terry, and then we're going to do an open forum uh, I'm sorry, not an open forum, more of a closed uh, situation where you can, should we pass out the stuff so they can yeah. get autographs? Yeah, if I can jump in for one sec, we're going to do a couple more questions like Jeremy's saying. We're going to pass out the bags, and then we're going to split up because I know a lot of you want to see the road champs rooms and vehicles, and we want to make sure that you guys do that, and then if anybody wants to see TV games, and Stacey and Terry are going to hang out, you guys can walk around and take pictures, correct, of everything, and... Um, but I want to make sure that everybody gets to see what right. champs as well. And like so. autographs and like that. But, but let's do a couple more oh, uh, oh, uh, open forum questions because I know. So why don't you do one and then two and three. Who's got two? Two? Who's got three? Who's got no, three? three. Right, two. Two. Three. All right, one. No, no, Carson, what does it mean for you to get your own figure? There's not a lot of women's oh, figures out there. It's like so surreal because like I just, you know, for me, when I was little, I was playing with Barbie dolls. And did yeah. I ever think that I would be an action figure? <laughs> never, never. So this is just an honor, really, for me to have a doll. You're going to keep that one? Oh, yeah, I got one of these to send to the house just this week. So I just saw it like the day before I came here. So I'm really excited about it. And I promise you that we're even going to be better. I mean, all right. I, this we're, is we're, great. It's, that one's I like, like my face. It's like I'm really mean. <laughs> I'm really mean. I don't remember. But the, the the issue is we're gonna we're gonna even do better and better and better. Are you gonna do fashion accessories? Uh, you know, purses just and like boots. Terry's and bloody and shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so lingerie with a pillow. So yeah, that's number two. Oh yeah. Maybe Jonathan. Excuse me. Um, Terry, uh, yes, ma'am. I don't know how to ask this. Um, what is it that makes you go through all that pain? You know, I mean, what makes you do that? Want to do that for a living? I mean, are you a, are you a masochist? <laughs> <laughs> but we have Doctor Drew. Come on in, Doctor. No, I mean, you know, I'm just kidding. Bob my mind. <laughs> um, what makes me do that? Yeah. I've been uh, I've kind of evolved differently in this profession than what a lot of people have. And uh, what I want to do with my life, I want to make the I want to make the best with the least amount of time that I have to do it in. And I I love I 